We are back at the shop again. We got our shop manager. Don't want to show too much, you know. Uh, she's yelling at me, telling me I'm not getting this thing done fast enough. So we're gonna put some work on this today. Uh, basically, I went and picked up the little injector O-ring. So we're gonna throw these on, throw the upper valve cover on, get them torqued. I got a uh, crow's foot here to torque the lines down. So we have everything we need to get this side back together we're gonna pull the cp3 pump out get it all prepped and ready so that way when the new one shows up we can swap it in and be done with it so yeah just gonna keep hammering away at this get the get the valve cover rtv to on new lines in all that nasty good stuff so pretty much ready to go uh the other valve cover is just about ready to go on i just gotta change these o-rings and throw them on we'll be good so um and just to a thing because what happens and why I had to wait and change these is these get cut when you thread on the these lines these hard lines so what I recommend doing is threading these down all the way first set set hold on here set that in into the fuel rail but don't tighten it down yet thread these all the way down hand tight first so that way they're seated on the o-ring and straight then thread this on and then torque them just that way they go on evenly. You don't mess the O-rings up or anything because that can cause a leak into the oil also. So we fixed one. We don't want to create another. We're going to get this pretty much all set and ready and hopefully have it back on the road soon. So, All right, so we got our fuel lines torqued and marked and all that good stuff. Pretty much that whole side's done. We're not going to put anything else on. Uh, right now, it's working on the CP3, which you can see I already got it kind of pried out. I'm hoping I can get it around this. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Probably going to have to take this crossover pipe off or some more stuff. We'll see, though, if I can wedge it out just because of the way the LB7 Y bridge is. Um, there's four bolts down under here. It's going to be really hard to show. You can see one kind of sticking out right there. And then maybe see one more right there. And then there's two smaller ones right up at the top, which would be pretty much right where the tip of the light is right now and on both sides. So uh, we're just going to try and get this pulled out and kind of wedged out and everything. Uh, we'll see if we can do it. Got a few of the hard lines off and all that good stuff. So move some things out of the way, try and get this pump out. Might result to pulling either the y bridge or i don't think i'm going to pull the y bridge i don't want to mess with that but or the coolant crossover pipe which is this one right here so we'll see we'll see what happens i haven't taken a cp3 out of lb7 in quite a long time so we'll figure it out so after some fighting we got the cp3 removed from the truck here so it's out uh we did end up having to pull the front uh, AC and alternator mounts off and pull the coolant crossover tube forward a little bit uh, Kind of a pain in the butt, but it's pretty much the only way out. So just Plan to do it. You know, don't try and work around it. So I knew better. I just thought I was being sly, but It was just it after about 10 minutes fighting. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just do it the way I've always done it pull it out and it's good to go um, So basically we're waiting on parts for this truck. We got new fuel lines coming and uh, the new CP3 on the way, so that should be here Friday. And then that leaves us pretty much just cleaning up for today. We're going to go outside and play with the big truck for a little bit and move some stuff around. So, yeah, we're going to keep going. But I'm just cleaning up now, so not too bad. So, new day, and we got an injection pump. It came a day early, which is always a good thing. Um, I need something to quench my thirst. Good old Mountain Dew ski. And, uh, yeah, so this is a Lincoln Diesel Specialties um, Super Sport Pump, I believe. <sighs> Nothing like it. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and unbox this real quick. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Um, we're going to get this open and hopefully start putting this truck back together. I didn't plan on working today. It is Thursday. It was supposed to come on Friday. So, we did start later in the day. 
I handled my jungle of a yard, which was way overgrown. Dun da da! Packing paper. One layer. Two layers. The core return form. A new O ring. Got a invoice, which just so you guys know, LBZ, Super Sport, CB3, they are like 900 bucks. Sorry, I wasn't on myself, I wasn't even looking. Uh, like 900 bucks plus shipping. So, and it looks like it comes from SNS Diesel, which is a good brand I was gonna recommend. So, let's see if we can get this set up here and get this out of the box at least. Stickers. Sweet. Four boxes. Looks to us like we get a pump here. Now, as you can see, there's no gear on it, so we do have to transfer the, the drive gear over. And it looks like the we also have to transfer over this whole front section right here where this O-ring is. So we're gonna take the gear off, take this little front mount off, swap that over to this pump. And then, yeah, so. We will get that all set up and on its way. So that's what I'm working on now. We're gonna get this whole pump apart. Uh, use the impact gun to take the big nut off. Uh, it just works a little bit better. So we're gonna hit that now and keep working on this thing and hopefully get the pump set up and get ready to go back in. We have swapped our faceplate over and our pump gear. Uh, torqued to 52 foot pounds on this, 15 foot pounds on these. Uh, the pump came with a new o-ring. We just put the new o-ring and lubed it up on this So we're gonna drop this back into the truck Like I said earlier, we were waiting on some fuel lines that are coming Tomorrow I believe so uh, We'll be able to wrap this up. We're gonna kind of button some things up and get it ready to be just throw the fuel lines on and call it a day so Hopefully we can have it done tomorrow and we have to rewire the oil pressure sensor plug so Got our work cut out for us. And we got another banner for the shop. Oh, the light and yeah, there we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, CP3 is back in. Uh, we're waiting on some fuel lines. So I finished wrapping up some stuff from the other day. All this stuff on this side of the motor. Uh, I got the coolant crossover tube back on, got these brackets back on. But uh, we are waiting for Oh, hold on. So basically, like I was saying, sorry, the phone call was that uh, we are just wrapping up all this stuff so that way when the fuel lines for the CP3 come in tomorrow, uh, it's a done deal. We throw those on, throw the turbo uh, horn on, alternator, coolant tube, and then, uh, yeah, wrap this truck up. So not a whole lot left. We got pretty much everything buttoned up. I'm going to put on the intercooler pipe, and I think that's just about it for today. Um, yeah. So everything's going good, and yeah, hopefully the CP3 and everything, we gotta download tunes on it, so I'll show you how to flash tunes through an auto cal, or through the computer and everything when we do that for the new setup. So uh, we're gonna fix a few more things to wrap up a few things, and we should be good for, to go for tonight. Wrapping up probably late night tonight, that way we're gonna have an early morning on Friday. We'll be done. So on day three, we are just about wrapped up with the truck and I know I was gonna show you guys tuning it. Um, so I'm kind of already in the process of it. I kind of forgot. But anyways, we got the auto cal plugged into the truck. This is his auto cal, auto cal plugged into the computer. Uh, got an email with a file, downloaded the file from the email, just clicked on the download. It pulled up this, you had to agree to some stuff and hit okay. And basically full flash, then it the PCM or uh, yeah PCM had a check mark, so you hit full flash right here and let it do its thing. So it is doing its good old thing. As soon as this is done, we are gonna go ahead and try and start it. Truck is all wrapped up. So did an oil change on it. Just make sure there's no fuel or anything. We had to bleed the cooling system, but. 
We're gonna go ahead and give it a start here in a minute. Make sure there's no leaks or anything. Hopefully, this goes back together without a hitch. So this is almost done. And uh, yeah, we'll catch back up in a minute. Alrighty guys, so we did wrap that truck up. It did start running, no issues, no leaks, no nothing so far. The customer did come and pick it up, so that's gonna be a wrap for today. Um, I'm heading home, it's Friday. It worked a lot later than I wanted to, but hey, it is what it is, so. Uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. We have some shirts coming soon, and uh, yeah, should be good. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the content, and what I need to do better, or anything, or worse, or whatever you guys wanna see. Um, and the dually build should be underway soon, so I pulled the interior out and some other things, so we are going to get working on that. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a thumbs up. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. We will see you guys later. I'm out.